Well, this week we take you inside an Indiana homegrown success story that a lot of people really don't know about. Indianapolis-based Heritage Group, a nearly 100-year-old company that now has more than 5,000 employees and 30 operating companies built on a commitment to science and innovation. The reach of this family-owned company extends around the globe, as does its commitment to innovation. Great example, a few years ago, the Heritage Group opened the center on the city's northwest side. In part one of a series, we take you inside the center and talk with President Amy Schumacher about the role the company is playing in accelerating innovation in Indiana. I want to begin by, if you could just kind of give us a thumbnail about this facility, which is, uh, it's cool space, uh, but it really is remarkable. Talk about it. Yeah, so, so we're meeting today at the center mm -hmm. um, here in Indianapolis. We opened a couple years ago. And the center is, um, it really is a hub for the Heritage Group where we um, focus on innovation, collaboration, ultimately research. It was designed and, and built to really embody the culture of the Heritage Group, um, a culture that's been built on innovation and entrepreneurship for almost 100 years. Yeah, well, as you talk about the, that culture, as you walk around this, uh, this facility, I've heard people say, you know, if you would just drop down in this facility, you think it may be in Silicon Valley or some uh, really uh, a mecca of innovation. That was maybe part, part of the idea to create space that, as you say, really does embody the culture of the company. Yeah, I mean, this is like nothing we've ever done before, um, but it also had to be very authentic to who we are and what we're all about. And so I think when you walk in the door, you get the essence of of not only the heritage group, but the family that, mm -hmm. that sits behind it. Um, when we designed the building, we really focused on, you know, what do we think over the last almost 100 years um, has been our secret sauce? And then we tried to create a very intentional environment um, to recreate that not only for today, but into the future um, for all the folks that want to join our organization. As you talk about that history of the heritage group, it is truly uh, an Indiana success story. For those people who may not be familiar with the Heritage Group, give us, uh, be tough to encapsulate it in a brief <laughs> amount of time, but uh, the highlights, talk about the history of the Heritage Group and what that's been all about. Yeah, so the Heritage Group, we've been here for almost a century. Uh, we're celebrating our 90th year in 2020. Um, it is a multi-generation, privately held, family-owned business. Um, we operate on three continents, employ over 5,000 people. Um, many of our headquarters are here in the great state of Indiana. The foundation of our business is really around material science, things that have to do with material science. Uh, we have many business interests, but they can generally be organized around construction and materials, um, environmental services or sustainability, um, and specialty chemicals. Innovation is a big part of the success of the company, certainly. And as I look at it, it seems that, that, that you want the Heritage Group to play a big role in innovation and entrepreneurship and growing companies in Indiana. Is that an accurate statement? Yeah, I mean, we're at our core are, I would call us builders of businesses. Mm -hmm. um, we've obviously anchored our roots, go very deep here to Indiana and Indianapolis in particular. Um, but we're doing that all over the world. So it really is where is the opportunity present itself, uh, where the demand and the opportunity may meet. Yeah. Well, talk about that and new ventures and the, the focus here uh, on innovation and how, how that's playing out. Yeah, so we started our new ventures organization um, about two years ago and, um, and, and really did so um, with the following mind. It's to create intentional entrepreneurial connections across the Heritage Group, mm -hmm. is the way I might put it. So within our core businesses, um, you know, New Ventures brings um, exposure, exposure to new markets, to new business models, to new technologies, to new opportunities. And so it keeps them continuing to move forward, keeps them current, relevant, and forward thinking. Um, New Ventures is a partner to our Heritage Research Group, which is here in this facility. Um, and the way I look at it is, is it's brought a more structured approach to commercialization as we think about accelerating new business, accelerating innovation across the system. Um, and so New Ventures and the research group, it helps leverage and extend the scale and impact that the research group can have. Um, and then finally for New Ventures, you know, we're investing in early stage 
um, companies. We're betting on entrepreneurs. And so in today's world with capital as a commodity, mm -hmm. um, I think of the Heritage Group and the experience and the expertise that we have. And um, we are a differentiated investor. Um, we bring value to the entrepreneurs that we partner with. And in doing so, the goal is to create real value. Do you uh, anticipate that these things can also benefit the state of Indiana and benefit uh, the growth of innovation and entrepreneurship in the state? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I think obviously New Ventures contributes to the Heritage Group mm -hmm. um, in multiple fronts. The goal is to have it contribute to Indiana and, and to the region mm -hmm. as a whole. Uh, we have an accelerator, which um, we have 10 businesses from across the world mm -hmm. here, and one Indiana company is represented in that crew mm -hmm. as well. So, absolutely. That was the Heritage Group President, Amy Schumacher. Well, this week, the Heritage Group Accelerator, powered by Techstars, which was just mentioned in that report, hosted a high-profile demo day pitch event. The founders of Techstars Class Number 188 shared the innovative products and services they are building for the future of advanced materials, infrastructure, and sustainability. Now, those startups who've been housed here in Indianapolis at the Heritage Group come from five U.S. states, including Indiana, and uh, also Canada, Estonia, and Germany, the goal of Demo Day for those startups to share ideas to an audience of venture capitalists, corporate leaders, industry experts to raise additional capital. Now, we'll have more in part two of our series next week when we go inside the Techstars Accelerator and how it is positioning Indiana on a global stage.